Hi everybody, it's Doug Hippie again from EAC Product Development Solutions with my weekly video tip. Today we're going to talk about PTC's in installation of the Expert Framework Extension Light Module that came in Wildfire 5, Creo Elements Pro 5.0, as well as both versions of Creo Parametric. We're looking at Creo Parametric 1.0 today and I'm just going to give you a quick tour so that you have a little bit of a feeling for how you can use it specifically for fasteners. Most of our users probably may or may not need the framework portion of it for fabrication, but oftentimes you want to add some fasteners to your assemblies and you want to do them very quickly. What the fastener tool is that I'm about to show you, what it'll do is it'll add the fastener, add it to your bill of materials, as well as introduce the clearance hole for the fastener and a tap hole, so any related features or hardware that you want to add to it it'll introduce very quickly and easily. Let's take a look at it. The first thing that I want to bring to your attention is you are going to have to add an option and change something in your config file. So if you go into Creo Parametric 1.0 or Wildfire 5, what you're going to want to do is have EFX enabled. So that config option is EFX underscore enabled. And then the value that you want to put in is yes. So go ahead and turn that on. It gets installed for you automatically, so you don't have to worry about uh, doing any install. All you need to do is toggle it on. You will need to restart Creo Parametric in order for that to take effect. So if in the event that you notice that there isn't a framework tab up top, just go ahead and close out Creo Parametric and open it back up again. Once you've done that, you're going to see a series of different uh, features and functionality that you have available. We're specifically going to focus on adding a screw. This is something that most people need to do, so I thought I would share that with the group. In this case here, I want an assemble on a point and axis, and you can also do points on the fly if you'd like by selecting an assembly point and then build the points as you go. So I've got some existing points that are created. I'm going to go ahead and select on it and add to it. Then the next function you're going to need to do, and you'll see the prompt down in your prompt uh, screen, to select the screw head surface, so where you want the screw head to go, and then the next one is where you want that thread surface to be. Once you've satisfied all of that, then it's going to come up with the uh, dialog box that will give you the access to the smart library. All right, you've got different uh, inch and metric that you have access to if you'd like to do it, and of course there's going to be a variety of different styles of fasteners from within each catalog depending on what you've selected. You'll also note down in the lower left-hand corner of the dialog box, there's a nice little glyph there to show you the fastener. Now, this is a dynamic glyph, so as I change a value on something, you're going to notice that the screw thread, the screw itself is going to change based off of that value. So in this case here, I'm going to go ahead and add a fastener that's 7 millimeters long. But something else I'd like to do is add a washer underneath the head. And you can actually add two washers. In other words, if you want to add a standard washer with a lock washer, you can introduce those. And you'll notice also that the graphics down below has updated to show that I've got a, a washer added to my assembly. Of course, if I have a plate that I need to have a hole that goes through, I can say, hey, let's uh, tap that head all, thread all the way through or tap the hole all the way through or, or drill that hole through. In this case here, the flange that I'm going into isn't that deep, so I'm not concerned about that. You can then say I want to pattern the screw connection or I'd like to assemble it on all the points and axes of the feature. So when you're creating your point set, either create one point and pattern it or else create all of the points within one point set. So it all depends on what you're looking for as far as the values and the style of pattern or the style and location of those points that you want to add. In this case here, I'm going to say assemble on all points and axes. There's several other features that are available, but you need to upgrade to the either the full version of the Smart Library, which you can uh, introduce and purchase from your friendly EAC account manager, or the full-blown version of EFX. Okay? The Smart Library gives you just the fasteners for things like screws as well as dowels. I'm going to go ahead and accept this, and we're going to let it build. So you'll notice what it's done for me now is it's actually added all of those fasteners. And because of that, it's also added the information to my bill of materials representative of those fasteners. But there's more to it than that. It's also added the washer that I selected. 
And if I open up the component that it's attached to, you'll see that the, it's also added the threaded holes that are in there. Okay? So, very quick and simple way for me to add a fastener. Now, one thing about the lightweight version of Extent Expert Framework Extension is it only allows you 10 fasteners. So, in the event that you find that you have a circumstance that uh, relies on more of those, you'll have to upgrade either to the Smart Library or upgrade to the full-blown version of Expert Framework Extension if that's something that you think you need. So, hopefully this has been a good tip for you. It's something that you should at least experiment with and take a look at. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to your friendly EAC account manager. Let them know that you saw one of Doug Hippie's tips of the week on the web. And you'd like to get more information on the EFX light access. This is Doug Hippie from EAC Product Development Solutions, wishing you to have another great week. Thank you.